Students, did you just see a bird fly off? I did. And yet there's that owl looking out of a cactus. Hi, owl. Are you going to say who? Who? All right. So this is another episode of STEM. STEM. Brought to you by your indomitable investigator, Kobe Gomez. Ta-da! There's an owl and there's a cactus. All right. Bye. And off they go. Here you are in my office and we have a no new case of the animal and plant discoveries. Oh, what are we going to discover? Okay, so here we have a giraffe who's eating from a tree. Of course he needs to eat from a tree because he loves those leaves. So what are this? Are these similarities between plants and animals? In other words, plants and animals both have the same things. Are you sure? Let's have a look and see. Ah, both plants and animals need to be warm. Of course they do. You can see this lizard lying out here in the sun. And you have the sunflower who's growing up nice and tall because of the sun. They both need warmth and they need the sun. Ah, so both animals and plants need to breathe air. So you can see that this little seedling on the left has come up because it needs the air to breathe. And these meerkats here are definitely breathing in the nice clean air. Both plants and animals need water. Aha! Yes, I can see a watering can on the left watering that those flowers and this lovely kitty cat who is drinking the water. A nice leopard. Okay, and here we have both animals and plants need to eat. Plants make their own food, but they get minerals from the soil. So you can see those horses eating the hay because they need to eat in order to be, have energy. And this big tree in the background, it will need to actually produce its own food. That's why it has green leaves. The leaves produce food. But it does have long roots in the soil that help to anchor it, but also get up nutrients that go up to those leaves. Both plants and animals need space to grow. They also need shelter. Do you see these baby bunnies? Oh, they're so cute. Well, they're only like that because they're keeping each other warm and safe. But once they start growing up and they're able to start moving, they're going to jump around. I know you've seen bunnies running around in your garden and things, I'm sure. And now look at this lettuce here. We've got lettuce in the middle and we've got parsley on the left. You can see that they have been planted in their own space. Now, the bunnies are in a shelter because they are tucked up safe under the grass there so that nobody can see them. Somebody has had to part the grass in order to see them. And these lettuce and parsley are being grown in a greenhouse. So they are being sheltered from extreme weather. Ah, plants have roots and stems to support them. And animals have a skeletal system. Hmm, that's very interesting. So in other words, a plant has the roots, which is going to root it into the soil and keep it stable there so it doesn't run away. And then it has a nice thick stem that'll keep it nice and straight and be able to grow up. Whereas animals don't need to. Animals have a backbone, however, which you can see in this picture on the right of the snake skeleton, 
that keeps the snake from being able to move. It stays in one place like that as the snake actually moves. Animals have babies and plants produce seeds. That's correct. In fact, this is a seedling growing on the top from a plant. Underneath you see a baby hippopotamus with his hippo mommy. Animals and plants have colors. Yes, this tiger over here, as you can see, he has several different colors and plants have different colors too. Those are their similarities, but what are their differences? Here you see a Venus flytrap that's eating a fly. Ew! Ah, plants cannot move. You can see this cheetah. He's moving very fast past the plants in the background. You can only admire him because they cannot move, except when the wind blows them. Plants have leaves. Oh, yes. These are elephant ear leaves. And as you can see, they have beautiful green leaves, whereas animals don't have leaves, do they? Animals have ears, eyes, a mouth and a nose, just like this cute little bulldog here. But plants do not. Ah, animals can swim. These dolphins are swimming. And it says they can swim and they can, can't they? It would be fun to be swimming with the dolphins. Plants don't swim, they would drown. Ah, animals have tails. Here you see this donkey and you can see how nice and furry his tail is. He uses his tail to swat the flies and keep the flies away from him. And luckily plants can't do that. Flies will just land on them. But then they want the flies and the bees to land on the plants, whereas a donkey does not. Animals have hearts to love. Oh, these two kittens are just so sweet. You can see that they are loving one another. Plants don't have that, but they do respond to our voices. They seem to grow better when we talk to them. Next time, try, try talking to your plants. Ah, here we come to our assignment. Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you to draw an animal and a plant and tell me one thing that they have that is the same and one thing that is different. I look forward to you putting it on Teams or in Canvas. Thank you, cats. Bye -bye. Our case is now closed. Bye, case. Until STEM next.